Hey everyone, it's me, Miss Snowvaline again, and today I'm gonna show you a really quick and really easy style. Anyone can do it, you don't need very much to do it as well, just like usual. I mean, I don't have very many hairstyling um, accoutrements, let's say, so like anybody can do this. Uh, you'll need your curling iron heating up, you'll need your teasing comb, and your normal hairbrush as well. You'll need a an elastic of some sort. I have these little, these are actually proper hair ties. They're non, um, non snags, so they don't actually like rip your hair out after. Um, but you can get packs of these at the pound shop. I've seen them at Wilkinson's in their hair section. I've seen them at grocery stores. You can get them black or invisible. I just happen to have black ones. And possibly bobby pins and some hairspray. So not too bad at all. So, I have my hair parted down the center, or sorry, down the side. Obviously, this is the center, this is the side. I have it parted at the side, um, but you're not really going to have a part in this style because your hair is just going to go back. So, it doesn't matter if you normally wear your hair parted in the center, in the sides, whatever. doesn't matter at all. Uh, and you can easily do this style with Betty bangs. So, I'm just going to take my bangs, and I kind of want them to stay out of the way. So, I'm just going to take them like this. And I think I'm just going to pop a pin in them, just so I don't brush them into the rest of my hair. I think I'm going to do it from the back so that I don't brush it in accidentally. Go, like that. So it's not a part of the back bits. And uh, it's as easy as we're just going to tease, and we're going to tease the hair backwards. So if you want to brush your hair back, like so. I, because my hair was parted, I have a little bit of volume here and no volume here, but that will be fine. So you're just going to take it underneath and just start teasing it, really. You can do it as big or as little as you like. It's totally up to you. You just want it evenly teased all the way around. There we go, somewhat like that. Looks real real good real classy uh and we're just gonna smooth it all down just very lightly brushing over top and you notice i didn't um tease these bits on the side i will show you what we're doing with them after and if you do get any funny lumpies or bumpies it's as easy as just re-teasing it and smoothing it back again that's what we want we want a bit of volume see. Because my hair is a little bit shorter in some layers, it won't blend perfectly, uh, but it'll be pretty good. Be good enough. Most people don't really seem to notice. Now we're going to take these side bits, just the bits that are in front of your ear, just like that. And we're going to smooth them like so. And I'm going to take a bobby pin. I'm going to pull it in behind and just put a pin in just to hold that bit of hair in place. There we go. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. So they're in behind. I'm going to take, while I hold the bit, that's in my right hand, or yeah, it's my right hand, definitely my right hand. Uh, I'm just gonna take out the pin in the left and take the two little wings that I've made and I'm just gonna put a little hair tie on them. And I want my hair to tuck behind my ears for this style. You might need two hair ties if your hair is a bit thick. There we go. You just want to let your hair fall straight down. You can um, curl the ends if you want to. Uh, let's have a looky. Quite cute. So that's what it looks like in the back. 
very simple. So you can leave your ends straight or you can give them a curl. I'm going to give them a like a super duper quick curl. Like I'm going to take big chunks of hair and just curl them under. You don't want to pull too tight because you don't want to pull out your tees. There we go. So I've just got a little bit of curl on the ends. It doesn't need to be a lot. It's just a little bit. It's like kind of 60s. Just so my hair has a bit more shape. There we go. Cute. Very cute. And now this bit. So we're going to tease this again. We're not going to put any powder or product in it. Uh, if you want, you can spray the back at this point. And now we're going to tease the top bit. And this is great because it's pretty much, other than uh, the little bit that's on the ends, it's pretty much a no heat style. And you don't, as I said, you don't even have to do the ends. I've done this before and just left it totally straight. And it does look really, really cute. Particularly cute if you've got a little... Just one sec. If you've got one of these like little bone clips and you put this just on the middle of the back and then you have it straight, so cute. So, so very cute. There we go. Tease this. Ta-da! I'm done now. This is the end of the tutorial. I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm not done. I'm just gonna brush it over. So like that, just want a little bit of volume in the front. And then if you want, you can leave it like that and just have it down. I'm going to take the curling iron and curl it back. So it's got a little bit of a curl in the end. I'm going to take a small bobby pin. Thank you. <laughs> Third time's the charm. Uh, and I'm just going to take it very quickly. And kind of pin it there. Yeah, so I've clipped the curl in. Ooh, I've lost a bit of my volume in the front there. And just give it a wee spray. And I'll sort out the volume in the front in a sec. Think maybe I need to pin it again and give it another spray but that's essentially all there is to it um, and you can just let it flop down if you like it is still really really cute you got this little curl here you've got all this volume very sweet it's nice and easy for work and it does kind of have like a 60s sort of feel to it I actually tend to do this style with my big hoops, as I always do, uh, and like a nice dark lipstick actually, and I have Secure, which is from the Oxford Street store, and I usually just wear this one. Ooh, it's going to be like reveal, you'll see. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> so yeah, this is usually how I finish it off. Easy as super cute and easy to wear to work. I've actually worn this um, total look to work before. I got tons of compliments. Lots of people who were very surprised with how long my hair actually is. There you go, easy. And even though I have forwarded bits of the video, I'm at 13 minutes now. And that is like ridiculously quick to get ready in the morning. All I gotta do is get dressed and head out the door. Quick, less than 20 minutes probably. Yeah, so if you have any questions or if there's anything else that you want to know, please pop a comment or a question or whatever. Pop it down below in the comments. Feel free to like and subscribe if you want more videos like this. I still have lots of ideas, lots of things that I'm going to do. Um, and yeah, that's all there is to it. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye!